Consider the number that we write 57419. The position of the digits tell us information about what those digits represent. So for instance, the 5 is in position 4, so it represents 5 times 10 to the 4th, or 50,000. The 7 represents 7 times 10 to the 3rd, or 7,000. The 4 represents 4 100s. The 1 represents 110. And the 9 represents 9 times 10 to the 0, or 9 ones. So the number is 57,419. Do we have to use powers of 10 for the positions? If you're familiar with the binary representation, you know this isn't the case. But do we have to use integer powers for the positions? Or can we use fractional powers, such as 3 halves, for instance? So for example, can we write 42 using powers of 3 halves? What coefficients would we even use for the digits that represent the question marks in the expression above? Let's describe a structure that helps us do this. Start with two nodes connected by a single edge like this. Now in a breadth first fashion, add one edge and a corresponding node, and then two edges and two corresponding nodes, and then repeat with one edge and a corresponding node, and two edges and two corresponding nodes, and one edge and a corresponding node, and two edges and two corresponding nodes, and one edge and a corresponding node, and repeat this process, alternating between two new edges and one new edge, along with two nodes or one node, in a breadth-first fashion, always populating the oldest node created that has no nodes below it. Once we've built this tree structure as far down as we might want, we can label the nodes by the multiples of three, starting with zero, and then moving left to right and top to bottom, so that we fill in the multiples of three, like this, in our case down to 51. After that, we can label the edges in a cyclic fashion using the numbers 210 repetitively. Again, we move from top to bottom and left to right, so that we continually see 210, 210, 210, and so on. Now suppose we're interested in the number 42. We can highlight the number 42 in this labeled tree, and we can see that it has a path to the root node 0. If we read off the edge label starting at 0 as 2, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, and then because it's a multiple of 3, add a final digit of 0, it turns out that we have found the base 3 halves representation of the number 42. That is, 42 equals 2 times 3 halves to the 6, plus 1 times 3 halves to the 5th, plus 2 times 3 halves to the 4th, plus 0 times 3 halves to the 3rd, plus 0 times 3 halves squared, plus 1 times 3 halves, plus 0. You can check that this is the case. To find the representations for the numbers that are between multiples of 3, we take the representation for the multiple of 3 and change the last digit to a 1 if the number is 1 more than a multiple of 3, like 43, or we change the last digit to a 2 if the number is 2 more than a multiple of 3, like 44. The representations for these three numbers all start with the path from 0 to 42, but end in different digits. Using this process, you can find the base 3 halves representation of any positive integer you want. As another example, let's try to find the base 3 halves representation of the number 25. Pause the video and give it a try yourself. 25 is one more than 24, which is the multiple of 3. So we can look to the node 24 and start from the node 0 and follow the edge labels 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, and then because 25 is one more than a multiple of 4, we end with the digit 1. You can verify that this is the base 3 halves representation of 25 by multiplying the digits by the corresponding powers of 3 halves. It turns out that every positive integer has a unique base 3 halves representation using the digit set 0, 1, and 2, and the tree method that we just described here will produce that unique representation for you. Because of this property, we call this tree the base 3 halves representation tree. Do you think there are similar tree structures for different rational base representations?